All right, bam, dragster time. Welcome back to the Quick Speed Shop. I'm Josh, and today in this video, I'm gonna fire up the dragster, and we're gonna play around with it for a little bit, but I'm loading it up and taking it to the Buffalo Motorama in Buffalo, New York at the convention center downtown. And this thing is gonna be displayed in the open wheel room. Uh, don't bother coming, because you guys already missed a show. It happened in March uh, 24th to 26th. But uh, last time, I got this thing fired up, and we, I took it out and drove it around the yard a little bit, and it ran like absolute garbage, so I had to like feather it, and I probably talked about how it was the accelerator pump wasn't working and stuff like that. Well, I determined off-camera later on that night that the carburetor floats were all screwed up, and they were, uh, let's see, they were not open enough, so it wasn't allowing enough fuel into the fuel bowl, and that way it wasn't filling up the accelerator pump. And the way I determined that was when the thing would sit and build a little bit of pressure, you know, not running, it would fill the bowl up enough where the accelerator pump would work. But as soon as I started it, it sucked the fuel down in the bowls. Then the accelerator pump didn't work. So that led me to believe that the float was off, which it was. So I fixed that. So let's fire it up. Uh, I got to not be too obnoxious with it. It's only, it's in the afternoon, but I don't want to be really obnoxious with it. But this thing is completely obnoxious. And we're going to go out, drive around the yard, do a couple little hits. All right. Still won't. Don't have a choke, but it should start. Let's let it cool on down, that was enough fun. The cap is only on there halfway. Apparently I didn't get the other side of it latched and it's puked rusty juice everywhere and it is hot. Yeah. I guess they make cooling system for a reason. We had too much fun with it. Oh well. I let this guy cool down and then uh, clean it up and then we'll take it to the motor room.
obviously. Flicks, oh, we're just All right. flicks, I guess. Ugh. Yeah. There we go. It's gonna take a minute to start it because it's cold, yeah. cold blooded, and it might be full of water. Josh. Hi. Did you bring me a taco? No, I ate them all. Hold up. Who's looking for the bathroom? Who's looking for the bathroom? He ate all them tacos. He's looking for the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not yet. There you go. There's your dragster. Go to Quick Speed Shop, Death Trap Dragster, if you want to see the story on this thing. The dragster is in here. You guys saw me come down the stairs. And uh, we got another race car over here. 
Let's walk around and look at some of these uh, cars real fast so everybody's setting up. It's pretty nasty out in the rain. Wash some of the barn find dust off my freshly built barn find dragster. I saw this car at the Buffalo Pierce Arrow Museum last year. Super cool three window big block Ford. Roll bar through the roof. It's like 1970s awesome. I'm glad that Jim's Hindoro brought it out here. Super cool. Model A sedan delivery. These are these are super cool. You've seen them on the cheesy used car lots, the pole with the flag. Yep, yep. This is the... When I was a kid, we would drive on the back road from my parents' house. There was a 2829 sedan delivery in the woods on the side of the road. This was back in the early 80s. And there, these things are wood framed in the back. And I watched it year after year, the body came apart and collapsed down into nothing. I think there's wood frame around the door and stuff and that Model A sedan delivery just deteriorated into nothing and fell into a big pile of rusted sheet metal on the side of the road. I'm sure it's long gone now, but still remember it all these years later. Canadian car here. International. These guys are local. This is a nail head powered 32 sedan. I believe it's a 401, three deuces on there. Really nice car. This was upstairs last year. Don't often see tea coops, not chopped. Got a tall tea here, it's pretty cool. Seen this car out in Buff Buffalo. This is a V60, just like I pulled out of my 37 Ford. It's got the uh, aftermarket heads on there, same main USA, same heads that were on my engine. And this is a little 60. Looks like it's all stock. Perfect for a little Model A uh, Speedster. It's probably a sedan cowl. All homemade bodywork back here. Pretty cool. Look at the Gasser Falcon Wagon. Two door. Yeah. 
65 maybe? 62, early one. Not sure what this is yet because there's no registration on the window but hey, a Mopar or Hudson or something or a big Buick maybe oh. see how much bigger the body is even though it's been chopped a ton we'll figure it out here in a minute here in the fancy area. I heard Kaiser.
sounds like supercars in here. on these cars back in the day when I was a kid working in a body shop. We'd take them apart and put them back together. They didn't make quad fours, but the old ones. Great. Back in the day. Forty-one olds. Thursday, I just got my dragster set up downstairs, so I'm gonna roll around up here. We'll take a look and see some of the setup here. It'll be uh, easier to see cars up closer. Yeah, it'll be easier to see cars up closer when there's not 50,000 people here. Look at a suburban. Look at the Henry J here. If you have a Henry J and it's an Allstate, one of the two. Henry J. The Edsel Club always sets up here and check out all the awesome axles. I believe this is the last year right here, 60 or 61. 60, I think it's the last year for Edsel. Maybe 61, I'm not sure.
S31 two-door. Check out the worn through paint on here. Nice. Zenith. The auxiliary fuel shut off on the Zenith carburetor there. It's an indented one. It's a later one. at the Motorama. It's actually Saturday the next day. I had my friend Ted here Friday night and got the dragster over here. Just starting off for Saturday people are going to start coming in. So the room filled up. Got this Model A coupe that wasn't here before. Got this real nice gold coupe over here. Let's check this out. And the sedan. Super nice cars. This car is really nice. Good 
coupe I was parked next to at the Syracuse Nationals, and I think in 2011 or so, in the old school area. Really neat car. <laughs> Got a really nice 29, 28, 29 Roadster on deuce rails here. 29. Got all the flathead goodies, two twos, Navarro heads, nice. My friend Dylan Carr, this is dad bought this, but Dylan built it at California Dream and Hot Rod Shop. It's a Shadow Rods T that is steel that fits on deuce rails. It was a, a package you could buy back in the day. are out of here. We're going to run our couple blocks on the street in Buffalo. Completely illegal. We're going to do it right now. Let's see if this will work. baby.
can, bro. All right, bam, that's it. I'm back from the Motorama. Let's take a look what I got here. I got a, uh, a Ratitude Award from the people that had the display behind me that sold signs like this. It's all hand-painted. It throws fire just like the Dragster does. And uh, that's pretty cool. It's got Rat Fink on there, all hand-painted uh, by the Cartoon Man there. So that, that was a cool award I got for that. This isn't really Rat Rod, but that's really cool hand-painted. That's a really cool truck, big zoomies and stuff, so I'll hang that up on the wall. But the Dragster did really well. A ton of people were really blown away by the fact that it was only built in five weeks out of junk that I had laying around. A lot of people thought it was the original Dragster. All the old guys that had been around that day thought it was a real Dragster. And people loved the, the patina, the headers, like the whole nine yards was displayed with that modern style Dragster. But people really, really liked it. It did great. I drove it out there, you saw, onto the trailer down on the uh, city streets of Buffalo and revved her up. That's probably... I don't know when is the last time a big nail head has run through weed burners in downtown Buffalo, but there you go. So I hope you enjoyed it. This was a long video, you know, to set up the show. It's hard to film the show during the day when there's like tons and tons of people. There's so much background noise and conversations, unless I did like a time lapse or something or walked around on music. It is what it is. I, I don't really like filming like in big public spaces like that because half people, you know, it's it's just hard to do it. So I, get, I hope you got a, a little... Uh, I don't know, blur what the show was like. Had a really good time there hanging out. Saw some, uh, saw my friends. I got to talk to a ton of people. Handed out, I don't know, maybe 200 stickers. So hopefully I get some new subscribers out of that. I want to thank Paul Strauss for putting on the open wheel room. I built this car specifically for Paul to help support him there in the show. And then uh, I'll be able to take it around and do other things with it. But I kind of had the idea that um, I try to have something for him almost every year. And, uh, that's what we put this together for, is for Paul in the open wheel hot rod room there in the, the back. But uh, all the Buffalo Motorama guys, Joe and Joe Senior and the guys that put it on, it was a, a great show. And uh, it's long. It's, you know, I was there for three and a half days nonstop. But uh, it, it turned out good, and a lot of people got to enjoy the Dragster. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, Dragster build series here on the channel. I am going to be building a, a old school trailer to go along with this. We're going to do that in maybe like a month or so when the weather gets a little bit better and I can work on it outside. Um, I'm going to build an old style single axle 50 style trailer. And a, what my plan is to tow this around with my Studebaker truck or my Model A truck and take it to cruise nights and uh, the Syracuse Nationals this year and have it in tow on, a, on the Vintage trailer just like 1956 with a matching truck and the whole nine yards. So that's what I plan on doing. So I'll be building a trailer here in a month or so. But for now, back on the Dodge. Here we go. Next time, I'm going to start body working this, sanding it, getting ready to paint, getting ready to put it back together. So that's it. Thanks for watching the Buffalo Motorama show. And the Dragster did awesome. We'll see you guys next time. Back on the Dodge, I guess. Back to modern stuff for a little bit. Here, bam, at the Quick Speed Shop. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.